Welcome to EMWorks 2D for SOLIDWORKS. In this video, we will go through how to simulate the Tesla 3 motor using EMWorks 2D for SOLIDWORKS. Before I begin, let me briefly describe our model here. We have a 2D geometry of the Tesla 3 motor consisting of the stator sub-assembly which is equipped with 56 slots and the rotor sub-assembly consisting of six segmented V-shaped PMs. And if we check this part closely, we will notice that there is air on the two sides of the magnets, which are considered as flex barriers in order to limit the flex path and force it to go into the stator. The particularity of EMWorks 2D software is its integrity inside SOLIDWORKS, which makes it easier for the user to draw the model geometry than use it to do the simulation. So, here we have the EMWorks 2D manager open, and consequently, we can view the multiple studies performed on the Tesla 3 model. Let us start in the first place with the Cogging Turk study. To create a study, we have to select study. Since the Cogging Turk study is already created, we will edit it to check its property. Each study has a particular name. And we have to indicate the solution type. In our transient magnetic study, we will compute the energy. And you also need to check the option Compute the circuit parameters in case you want to obtain the inductance, resistance, and also flux linkage results. Then, we indicate the time duration, which consists in the start, end, and step time. In the coupling analysis tab, the Tesla 3 model is coupled to rotational motion. It has a constant speed in degree per second indicated in the motion settings section. In the motion coupling, we should specify the rotating part in the moving components tab, which are the rotor core and the permanent magnets. We should also specify the band part, which covers the rotor subassembly. The study structure is the same in EMWorks 2D software. Let us start with defining the materials of the various components of the Tesla 3 motor. The permanent magnets are made of the N4212 material, which is selected from EMWorks 2D diversified material library. We can edit the magnet's material to view its properties. Every PM material is characterized by a coercivity and a remanence as given in the material properties. We should also assign the magnetic direction for the magnets presented in the motor geometry. We can click on the coercivity direction of the permanent magnet and select the local coordinate system corresponding to its magnetization direction. The direction type is Cartesian along the y-axis indicating a north PM. Now, let us edit the magnetization direction of a south PM. We can note that the Cartesian direction is reversed along the y-axis. The material of the stator and the rotor cores is M27, also available in the material library in the nonlinear magnetic material folder. Next, the couple listed in the conductor materials folder was assigned to coils. The band, an essential part of every transient magnetic study, 
in order to highlight the moving components, is made out of air. In the same way, the air rectangle, which includes the model to limit the simulation area, is also made of the air material. Once the materials of the different components of the model are defined, we can move to the definition of the boundary conditions. A non-magnetic vector potential is applied on the outer air region edges. In the forces torque section, the rotatory components are selected in order to compute the torque. We can also apply a mesh control in case we want to make the mesh coarser and reduce the simulation time, or in case we want to make the mesh finer in a part with small geometry for more accuracy. We can also set the model windings, but it's not necessary if we were to compute the cogging torque, as it's only described at the interaction of the PMs with the stator teeth. We can edit the phase A winding to check its properties. The coil type is set to current driven coil. In the current source tab, we can select the DC current source type with a null magnitude. The same procedure can be also done for both the phase B and phase C windings. Every winding has go and return coils. Now, if we edit the coil A+, we can visualize the selected phases corresponding to the A+, excitation, which is considered as go path. In the general properties, we get to define the wire diameter and also the number of turns. The A- coils are characterized by a reversed current direction, implying the return path. We can also observe the speed and angle variation data versus time by selecting the Motion Details option. When the study settings are completed, you can run the simulation. Since we already have the simulated analysis, we can go through the output results of the cogging torque simulation. Let us first check the cogging torque versus the rotor angle curve. This curve presents two periods with a maximum torque of 4 Nm and a null average value. We can also check the magnetic flux density mapping. One can observe a maximum flux density value between the two PMs. The stator teeth are more saturated when facing the magnets. In the no-load study, we will simulate the no-load operation of the machine to primarily achieve the flux linkage and also the induced voltage of the Tesla 3 motor at this condition. The study is copied on the cogging torque study. Now if we edit the study properties, we will note that in the time duration, the end time is set to 0.02 seconds which is the inverse of the operating frequency. The study parameters are conserved thanks to the copying option of the cogging torque study. This saves the time of initiating the study parameters. Let us now check the no-load study results. The results are regrouped in the results table. For example, we can view the flux linkage versus time curve.
Here, we can see the flux linkage curves of the three phases having the same magnitude of 0.33 Weber. Let us now look at the induced voltage versus time curve. One can see that there is three shifted waveforms and the presence of the harmonics is also noticeable in these waveforms. In the same way, we copied the no-load study to edit its excitation and then simulate the on-load operation of the Tesla 3 motor. Here, we can use either the current-fed excitation or voltage-fed excitation. Let us take the case of the current-fed excitation. We have here two studies with the windings excited with current. The first study presents a random current angle value. Let us edit the phase A winding. The coil type is defined as current driven coil. Now, if we move to the current source, we will notice that the sinusoidal current with a frequency of 50 Hz has been selected. And here, we can observe the current magnitude as well as the pulse delay time. The phases B and C have the same frequency and current magnitude, but they are shifted by 120 degree corresponding to 0.02 seconds divided by 3. Now, if we check the onload torque, we will see that applying those currents generate a torque with an average value of 200 newton meters. The second study is simulated for applying a current angle delivering the maximum torque. In this study, we simulated the core loss of the stator and rotor core. Now, if we edit the onload study parameters, we will find that the core loss parameters is checked and the period is also indicated. This period should be equal to a period of one cycle of the frequency. I will edit the M27 material assigned for both the stator and rotor cores to view its properties. You can see here the stacking factor and also the core loss function defined by the hysteresis coefficient, the eddy current as well as the excess loss coefficients. Now, let us for example edit the phase A winding. Here, we have the different time delay compared to previous study. In the same way, the phase B and C present a phase shift of the initial current angle added to 120 degree each time. Now, we can take a look at the onload torque results. We can see an oscillating torque presenting an average value of approximately 350 Nm, which is significantly higher than the previous study, while the current magnitudes are the same in both studies. We can also check the core loss results. The stator core presents higher losses than the rotor core. The rotor core is rotating and thus exhibits less core loss. We can also view the eddy loss, the asteresis or the excess losses 
of both the stator and the rotor cores. Now we can check the onload flux density mapping. The last study is concerning the voltage excitation. The structure of this study is the same as the previous study, with the difference being the definition of the voltage source. If we now edit the phase A winding, we can see that the coil type is set to voltage driven coil. In the voltage source tab, we defined a sinusoidal voltage source with its parameters like the frequency, the delay time and also the voltage magnitude. The phases B and C are defined in the same way with the phase shift. Let us now move to the results section. We can observe the onload torque versus time. Due to the voltage excitation, the torque has a transient part at the beginning until it reaches a steady state situation where it oscillates with an average value of 230 Nm. We can also check the current versus time curve. Although the applied voltage was pure sinusoidal, here the currents have not pure sinusoidal waveform due to several effects such as the slot and saturation effects. However, three phases have the same waveform with the magnitude of 175 ampere and they are shifted by 120 degree. As previously demonstrated, different simulations of the Tesla 3 motor were performed using Eomorphs 2D for SOLIDWORKS. I hope that you found great use of this video and that you too can use Eomorphs 2D software to help you understand the performance of your motor geometry. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching and please do not hesitate to visit our website for more information.